Hey, what's up guys? Iman here, Monster Gadgets. And uh, today we are in my 2023 Model S Plaid. And uh, we've got version 12.3.4 FSD Beta. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and test this out uh, on my way to the supermarket and see how well it does. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Hey guys welcome back so i'm going to go ahead and initiate fsd and uh let this go ahead and take us to the supermarket that i'm going to and uh see how well it does i do have the, the new speed uh, feature turned off to where it is manual and uh, that way i'm able to go ahead and go write it with uh, this here, so I'm going to go set this max to 65 and it's going to go ahead and the same. While we are recording, I am actually recording on the new Insta360 X4 360 8K camera, uh, except I am using the feature of the single lens mode. So this is basically like a front facing action camera um, in uh, 5.7K. So this will be exported in 4K for those of you that might be wondering. The car has kept uh, in this lane even though it's capable of passing. So it's went 42 miles per hour and 45. And as I mentioned that, it is going to go ahead and try and change the lane. Another surprising thing is I've had my thumb and my index finger basically on the steering wheel here and uh, this is the first time that it has not alerted me to pay attention. It might be because of the way it's utilized on the camera to make sure that I pay attention but I know in the past tests or previous versions I should say as well, even though I'm looking straight ahead and have had my hand in similar position, it's always warned, warned me to uh, give that you know, steering wheel a little bit of a to uh, let it come out here, so 
I'm not sure if this is a improvement to this update. Uh, it might be, just because uh, it hasn't told me to do that. And maybe it's really angle on the camera, the camera to monitor me, making sure that I'm paying attention. But just a little note. And as I'm driving and doing these demonstrations, if uh, you have experience with uh, something similar, let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'm always looking to get knowledge from others and learn about their experiences. All right, we're almost there, uh, about half a mile away from where I'm supposed to be going, as you can see on the map there. So we are almost there. I'm curious to know how it's going to pull into the parking lot because it is a lot deeper, as you can see, and uh, if it's going to panic or not. So I'm really curious to see what happens there. In 1,000 feet, turn right. Now turn right. All right, here we go. Let's see how it does. Okay, big piece of a turn. And the place we're going to is straight across. This is what I meant when I meant by it's got to go deeper. It's further uh, down to the parking lot. In 500 feet, your destination will be on the left. Good. Is the turn signal great? Is it gonna park itself? Is it there yet? <laughs> I don't think so. But while we're here, we'll go ahead and do a parking test once it tells me that it's next destination. A lot of people nearby, so I'm just gonna keep my. Now your destination is on the left. It says 50 feet navigation autopilot ending, so it just brought us here, and it's going to end dead center of the lot. So I'm going to take over because there's a car right there, and uh, while we're at it, we'll just do a quick parking test on here and see how well this works. Parking spot. Sorry, guys, that was my fault. It's picking all these and seeing all these. It is. I'm gonna pick that one just because it's uh, I'm going to be a little bit further away. So let's see how well it does. Uh, okay. This is uh, a little bit of wrecking. Kind of close to those cars in front. Okay, I'll let it do its thing.
I wonder at what point would it be able to park facing in instead of always backing into a spot. That would be nice to see. Okay, next first step here, trying to straighten itself out. Auto park complete. So, all right, so technically it did drive itself here and then I had to use auto park to park it. But hopefully we'll get to a point where it brings you to destination, parks itself, and then you're able to go. But that went pretty smoothly. I'm pretty impressed and uh, happy with the results so far. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.